the reduction of order method reduction of order method so what's the reduction of order method is uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna bring a second order differential equation uh, into a first order differential equation Uh, first order differential equation that's the idea so we're going to give the result as a theorem so the theorem is theorem so let's say uh, suppose suppose y1x uh, which is not equal to 0 uh, is a solution of is a solution of is a solution of the uh, second order differential equation which is in the standard form solution of the second order differential equation that is y double prime plus px y prime plus qx y equal to zero so this is the second order linear homogeneous differential equation it's a second order linear homogeneous differential equation then what it says that then the second solution then the second solution then the second solution is given by is given by y2x so we can write this as a formula uh, y2x equal y1x to the integral of e to the negative px dx e to the negative px dx divided by y1 squared x dx so that is the formula for the reduction of order uh, so let's very like that so that's a reduction of order formula um, and further so that's interesting fact and you can see that those two solutions are linearly independent further uh, furthermore uh, y1 and y2 are linearly independent are linearly uh, independent are independent on any interval on any interval on an interval where y1 Uh, not equal to zero so any interval where y1 not equal to zero so if y1 not equal to zero then those two solutions are automatically linearly independent so this is what we call the reduction of order formula so example number one uh, given that given that y1 equal e to the 3x 3x is a solution of is a solution of y double prime minus 9y equals 0 on the interval negative infinity to infinity find a second solution find a second solution or find another solution so what we can do, uh, we're going to identify, first we need to check whether the differential equation is standard form. So you can see that uh, y double prime minus 9 y equals 0 is in standard form. Uh, so here uh, we have px which is simply 0 because there's no y prime term and uh, y1 equal e to the 3x which is not equal to 0 everywhere 
so that means all the conditions are good so we can substitute to the formula which is y1 y2 equal y1 times the integral of e to the negative uh, px dx over y1 squared dx so let's plug in so y1 is e to the 3x and then px is 0 so if px is 0 uh, if you integrate you just get a constant so that means the top is simply uh, actually let's write it e to the negative uh, 0 dx in the bottom you're gonna get e to the 3x squared dx so we can simplify this a little bit it is e to the 3x and you can see on the top you integrate a con zero that means uh, you just get a constant so you can see e to the c in the bottom of any square you double the power so that means e to the 6x dx uh, now you can bring you can take the constant out so we have e to the 3x e to the c and if you bring that to the top it is e to the uh, negative 6x dx uh, this is very easy to integrate uh, if you integrate this one you're going to get uh, e to the c e to the 3x uh, you divide by the power so it's e to the e to the negative 6x over negative 6 uh, plus c actually you can ignore those constants uh, i'm going to call this is c uh, 2 and now what we can do is uh, you can see that uh, there are some constant for example this constant all these constants you can simply call this is one with just a constant and this one you can set this equal to zero because we are just looking for one more solution so if you set them equal to zero so you end up getting uh, e to the negative 3x so you can ignore all the other constants you can just set them any number you like so that's the uh, second solution and you also know that from the four fundamental equation that's the actually other solution so so we just prove that that's the case so then uh, uh, you know that the uh, y1 function is not equal to zero that means these two are linearly independent automatically uh, according to the theorem so the general solution so you can have a general solution actually the general solution general uh, solution uh, y equal uh, c1 e to the negative 3x plus c2 e to the uh, 3x uh, so that's the general solution uh, actually on uh, negative infinity infinity because those two functions uh, are linear independent and exist everywhere good so that's the first example so let's look at another example uh, example number two the function the function y1 equal x squared is a solution of solution of x squared y double prime minus 3x y prime plus 4y equal to 0 which is what we call a euler cauchy uh, equation so we're going to do that later find the general solution find the general solution find the general solution find the general solution uh, so again let's use the uh, reduction of order formula so you can see that so our differential equation y squared y double prime minus 3xy prime plus 4y uh, equals 0 which is not in the standard form um, uh, so we can rewrite this so we rewriting rewriting in standard form standard uh, form rewriting in standard form we have y double prime minus 3 over x y prime plus 
4 over x squared y equals 0 what we did we divide by x squared everywhere uh, then you can see here px is simply equals to negative 3 over x that's a px so the second solution so the second solution is by the formula y2 equal y1 times e to the negative px dx over y1 squared dx so let's plug in so if you plug in you're going to get y1 is x squared and then e to the negative uh, px is negative 3 over x dx over x squared squared dx so there are two dx so let's simplify this and the top you can see three uh, negative, negative cancel 3 over x that means you're going to get ln so that means it is x squared uh, e to the um, 3 ln x you can skip this step but that's okay so you can write this one as 3 ln x uh, and then over x to the fourth dx and you can see the top uh, you can bring this 3 here so if you do that it's going to be uh, e to the ln x cube over x to the fourth and e ln get cancelled so you're going to get x cube so this simply become uh, x squared x cube over x fourth dx so this is simply x squared 1 over x dx uh, that means x squared ln x uh, we don't add the plus c here we are just looking for one solution so then we can write the general solution easily so the general solution is is y equal c1 y1 plus c2 y2 according to the uh, theory that we discussed earlier so this plugin so it is a c1 x squared plus c2 x squared ln x so that's the that's the general solution on you can see on 0 to infinity because that's the only interval we are look we don't we know because that's where the x squared is uh, not equal to 0 okay so you can see uh, it's not that difficult but we simplify uh, the expression so let's do one more example uh, so the next one so example number three uh, if y1 equal e to the x over 3 is a solution of 6y double prime plus y prime minus y equals 0 find the general solution find the general solution same argument as before um, this is not in the standard form so we can start with uh, so we can say rewriting rewriting 6 y double prime plus y prime minus y equals 0 in standard form standard form we have y double prime plus 1 over 6 y prime minus 1 over 6 y equals 0 so you can see uh, px is simply 1 over 6 so 
the second solution is simply y2 equal y1 e to the negative px dx over y1 square dx so if you plug in you're going to get e to the x over 3 e minus px is 1 over 6 so it's a 1 over 6 dx over e to the x over 3 squared dx so this is e to the x over 3 uh, so the top you're going to get e to the negative because 1 over 6 is a constant so you get 1 over 6x and then in the bottom you square that means you double the power so it's e to the 2 third x dx now you can simplify this a little bit uh, to simplify you can bring this to the top so we bring this to the top it's e to the x over 3 it is e so when you bring it to the top you can let the common denominator is become 4 over 6 that means all together become negative 5 over 6 x dx uh, this is integral so this is a constant that means you divide by the constant when you integrate e to the kx so the k is negative 5 over 6 in this case so if you divide that means uh, so e to the x over 3 so here divide means you uh, multiply upside down so negative 6 over 5 e to the negative 5 over 6x we don't add the constant here we are looking for one solution and you can see uh, you can simplify this so you get negative 6 over 5 if you add the two powers uh, so you're going to get e to the uh, this is 2 uh, 6 so in English is a negative uh, 3 6 which is 1 half so that means you can write negative 6 over 5 e to the negative one half x so that's what you get and now what you can do is uh, you can have the general solution ignoring the constant in front because we don't need this one so we already have constant we can ignore that uh, so if you ignore that then you can have the general solution so the general solution is is y equal c1 y1 c2 y2 which is equals to c1 e to the x third plus c2 e to the negative one half x so that's the general solution of the differential equation thank you